it's a relief for them not to be there. It's sad that it had to be Dave's life, but you know, for all that to happen. A homeowner is dead and one of the other occupants is in jail charged with his murder. Roland Park Police and Johnson County Prosecutor's Office have released a few details since the 65 year old was found dead at his home over the summer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Barry. I'm Lauren Halifax. David Stark suspected killer faced a judge for the first time today. Fox Sports Dave DeMarco live in the Roland Park neighborhood with what he's been finding out about Stark's death. Dave. Well, court documents show that Stark had been trying to get the suspect Karen Malone out of his home two years ago, and neighbors say they were always concerned for Stark. We always wondered, you know, if they were going to take over the house or how that was going to go down. But Since his wife's and son's deaths, neighbors say 65 year old David Stark had been known to let people stay with him. Dave had a really big heart and he always wanted to help. Court records show in 2022 he filed a complaint against Carrie Paul Malone and a woman who were living in his Briar Street home without a lease for free, requiring them to vacate the premises within three days. The order was granted. The morning of July 20th, someone called for a welfare check. So the police came. Couldn't get in, um, waited for David's family to arrive, and then they were able to get into the home, and that's when they found David deceased in the home. But until yesterday, nobody had been arrested, and neighbors weren't even sure if it was foul play. But they had their suspicions. They all kind of had an agenda of a place to stay, and I don't know how much they took advantage of him. Um, and so, yeah, this was the worst case scenario of how it could have gone. A Johnson County judge issued a warrant for Carrie Malone's arrest for first degree premeditated murder, and the 55 year old was taken into custody Tuesday. You know, somebody needs to pay for what occurred to David, so glad that the cops could find some resolution for the family. What's still unclear is what led up to what prosecutors describe as an intentional premeditated killing. I mean, it's awful. It's just, it's, I mean, that was absolutely not what he had when he had said to invite them in to give them a home and give them food and take care of them. Malone's bond was continued at $1 million today. Lauren, his next court appearance is set for September 12th.